Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to install and use Docker Engine on Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. So first off, you should know that Docker Engine does not exist in the Ubuntu repository. So you need to externally add the repository into Ubuntu as a source and then install Docker Engine. To get started, simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post by Cloud Infrastructure Services as this blog post contains all of the commands that I would be using within this tutorial. So to start off, you can clearly see that we need to install the curl, gnub and wget. For that, simply copy this command, head on over to your desktop, open up a terminal, paste in the command with the sudo privileges and then hit enter. After that, you would have to type in the root password. So type the root password and hit enter once more. Now, once that is done, the next step is to add the public gpg key of docker engine. For that, head back to the blog post. Simply copy this command and paste it inside your terminal. But before pasting it, you need to move over to the root user. So simply type in sudo space hyphen i, provide the password for the root user and then you would become the root of your operating system. After that, simply paste in this command and then hit enter. Now you cannot run this command even with the sudo privileges. So that is why you had to change over to the root user. Once that is done, now we want to add in the repository of docker engine to the apt list. For that, simply copy this command and then paste it inside your terminal and then hit enter. Now once that is done, the next step is to update our apt list. Now for that, simply type in the command sudo apt get update and then hit enter. One more thing, if you run this command to add the repository and you get an error, then in that case what you need to do is that you need to remove this dollar symbol followed up by a variable completely, even the backslash and after the Ubuntu you simply have to put a space type in focal and then stable. So that is how that error would be fixed. So the error is basically that it cannot find the variable for the latest stable release, rather it has been changed to Ubuntu focal stable. So that is how you can reduce that error as well. Anyways, coming back to where we left off this tutorial, the next step is to actually install the docker engine from the repository that we have just added. Now the command is very simple, it's sudo apt-get install. Now what we wanted to install is docker community engine, so docker ce. After that we also want to install docker community engine cli. And the last thing that we want to install are containers, so the command is container.io. After that, we can put in the flag hyphen y and then hit enter. Now you simply have to wait while the downloading and installation process is being performed. Now in the meantime, if you want to deploy Docker Compose or Docker Engine on cloud-based platforms such as Azure, Amazon and Google Cloud, then simply check out the videos on our channel by using the links in the description box. Now once the installation process is done, the next step is to check the status of our Docker. So for that, simply type in the command systemctl status docker and then hit enter. So you can see that the docker is already running. But in case the docker is not running, then you can start docker by typing in the command systemctl start docker and then hit enter. Now this is going to start up docker. And if you want to enable docker on the boot time of your Ubuntu, then simply type in the command systemctl enable docker and then hit enter. Now once that is done, you can move along with your docker applications. One more thing that you can do is you can check the version of docker by simply typing in the command docker space version and then hit enter. So you can see that I'm running a docker engine community with a version 20.10.21. So next up is how to create a hello world container in docker. So for that I'm going to head back over to my blog post and as you can see that to run the hello world container you simply have to type in this command so copy this command and paste it inside your terminal but you would have to use the sudo privileges. So the command would be sudo docker run hello world and then hit enter. And now you can see in the terminal that this is a template from docker. So it says hello from docker. So you can be assured that your docker installation is working perfectly fine. Anyways that was all about this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And again if you want to deploy a docker on cloud platforms such as Azure, Amazon and Google Cloud then simply check out the videos linked in the description box. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.